Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about what Battlefield 5, based on the beta gameplay, what it does to do better, basically. And there's a couple things in it that were definitely strikingly obvious that it sucks at doing. Number one is weapon customization. The cosmetics, pretty good. I can see where, you know, they'll add to it. But it's the upgrade system that really bothers me. While the upgrade system is good, it doesn't feel unique enough. I don't like that it, like, stability, you don't add four grips. I felt like they did stuff, but I feel like upgrades just made the weapons easier to use. They really didn't feel like they impacted the game at all. Like, I noticed, especially with the Lee Enfield, the only thing that I really noticed was that the straight pull or the thing that pulled the bolt back faster really only affected me maybe one out of ten shots I took. So I really didn't even notice it was there most of the time. And recoil on the SMGs, like my accuracy went up a little bit. But that was it. There wasn't really anything noticeable when it came to the upgrade system. And visually, nothing changed. Like, what happened to putting attachments onto guns and having it change what the gun looks like. I don't get it. I don't get it. I know it's a World War II game, but if I have something that requires vertical foregrip to do, you put the vertical foregrip on the gun. Very simple. So that was kind of weird to me. Um, the weapon selection for the beta was fine. I feel like if they add a lot more weapons, I hope they add the Russians, and at least I hope they add the Russians and the Japanese into this game. If they don't, it's European theater. I hope the DLC saves it. Another thing is it seems like the vehicles... Um, there's not enough uniqueness when it comes to the vehicles. Again, there was different... Like, Battlefield 1, there was nine types of planes. Three fighters, three attack planes, and three bombers. And then they added the heavy bomber, so three heavy bombers. This one, you could just customize those classes. You couldn't really do anything else. And so it felt like you were just playing the same thing, but upgraded. So it felt like there was only the two... It felt like there was only two German planes and three British planes. I didn't get that. It was very strange to me. Now, I don't... I don't understand why. I mean, I don't understand why you couldn't move your upgrades around. That made no sense to me. I don't know why I can't do that. Hopefully they fix that. But um, the last real thing is... The uniqueness of the soldiers. It feels good, but it's not there yet. The only soldier is it feels like there's everyone, and then there's demolition, right? It kind of felt like every once in a while it's like, okay, we need an ammo person, we need a health person, we need a this person, we need a that person. But it was like, okay, the three there's the demolition guy, and then the three people just kind of maxed out. Someone died. Oh, I'll spawn in as the ammo guy, right? Like, I feel like... This, everyone was not unique enough. Okay, now let me say this. Battlefield 1, it felt like no one was unique. There was just a ammo and a health guy. Then the other two. Then you needed a tank guy every once in a while. But this one, everyone kind of felt more useful, which is good. Um, But it still did not hit the mark for me. It felt too casual as a Battlefield game. It felt too casual. I really didn't get why, like... Demolition, like, needed more explosives. Support needed, like, a mounted machine gun or, like, freeform fortifications or something. Recon needed something, because recon felt useless, unless you were spotting enemies. And the spawn point, eventually, like, top-level recon, it felt unique, which was good. Then you get to medic, like, medic... I don't... Medic just... You threw health packs at everyone and sometimes got the revives. I don't know what else you can do. Like, I don't know. It's it's weird. Maybe the medic's the only one that can heal you all the so your health goes up all the way? I don't know. So, um, but other than that, the game as a whole is really good. Like, I don't want this to take away from the fact that it's a good game. The gameplay's fun. I just think that those are the three things, you know, the vehicles and the upgrade system and the classes just need work. 
And I think that's why the beta is here, is to show off those flaws. Because initially, as a concept, this is very good concept gameplay. So I hope that DICE fixes those three things. And with that, I'm done with this video. Let me know what you need, uh, what you think needs to be fixed in Battlefield Five. I'd love to know in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you next episode, streamer vlog of whatever I decide to make. That was my coffee mug. It makes sounds.